Hello and welcome back to ITSM 101. In the Fresh Service Introduction to ITIL video, I gave an overview of the basics of ITIL. In this video, I dive deeper into what ITIL covers. The first thing to understand is that ITIL is split across five core books, where each relate to a different part of what ITIL calls the service lifecycle. Service strategy, as the name suggests, it's the planning and getting ready that the service provider must do to deliver services that meet business needs. Service design, it's the design of everything required to deliver a service, from the service through to management. Service transition, this covers introducing, changing and retiring services. Service operation, it's where the service desk and its activities sits. And continual service improvement, which is all about improvement, whether that be keeping up with changing business needs or optimising operational activities. So how do these five books map to the 26 ITIL processes? In terms of service strategy, there's strategy management for IT services, service portfolio management, demand management, financial management for IT services, and business relationship management. In reality though, you'll see that many organisations probably have some financial management capability and they might have started business relationship management. They may not, however, have invested heavily in service portfolio management or demand management, say. In terms of service design, there's design coordination, service level management, service catalogue management, availability management, capacity management, supplier management, IT service continuity management and information security management. You've probably already heard of service level management, you've heard of service catalogue, availability and capacity management, but some of the other areas might be new to you. In terms of service transition, there's transition planning and support, change evaluation, change management, release and deployment management, service validation and testing, service asset configuration management and knowledge management. The most popular of these are a change management, configuration management and knowledge management. In terms of service operation we see some of the most popular ITIL processes. There's event management, incident management, request fulfillment, problem management including root cause analysis and access management. So many of the things that you associate with the service desk. And then finally, there's a whole ITIL book on continual service improvement. Of course, your organisation might already be doing much of this, even if you don't label it with the ITIL terminology. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have a burning question about ITSM, please leave it in the comments section, and I'll try to answer it in a future video. Subscribe to stay updated, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to ITSM 101. Sometimes it's just as important to know what to avoid as it is to know what to do. 